What's going on, guys? Redpool Dead here with another Diablo 3 Season 17 build for you. This one is going to be a Demon Hunter multi shot build. All right. So, first things first, the foundations of this build is the six piece Unhollowed Essence set. First, you're going to get the two piece set. The two piece set allows your generators to generate two additional hatred and one discipline. Your four piece set will gain 60% damage reduction and deal 60% increased damage for eight seconds if no enemy is within 10 yards of you. Basically, this is going to be up almost 100% of the time. And finally, your six piece set generators, multi shot, and vengeance deal 350% increased damage for every point of discipline. Uh, we're going to be using the focus and restraint set. This is a pair of rings that you're going to wear um, that greatly increases your damage. When you hit with a resource generating attack or primary skill, either of the two, uh, deal 50% increased damage for 5 seconds. Also, when you hit with a resource spending attack, deal 50% increased damage for 5 seconds. Using both generating and spending attacks, you're going to have increased damage by 100% all the time. There are a ton of different ways to do this build. This is just one example. I'll go over a couple variations that you can do. You have flexibility what you can do with this belt. The Krelms belt is really good if you're trying to get speed out of this. If you're trying to get speed, I highly suggest using the Krelms belt. If not, you can always use a witching hour. That'll increase your damage. You can also use a gold wrap if you're trying to generate a bunch of gold. You can also use a Hunter's Wrath. This will allow you to attack 30% faster with your primary skill and deal up to 60% more damage. So you don't need the two piece set for this. Matter of fact, I highly recommend not using the bracers that go with this belt. Um, but essentially using this belt, you will gain 25% run speed. Uh, this effect is lost five seconds after taking damage. On your bracers, you have a little bit of flexibility here as well. Uh, I like the wraps of clarity uh, specifically because T16 is a little more punishing than T13 was. Anytime you use a hatred generating attack, you reduce your damage taken by up to 50% for five seconds. If you are activating your focus and restraint buff, you will also be activating the wraps of clarity buff. This goes hand in hand and it works very well. Okay, now your quiver. You want dead man's legacy multi shot hits enemies below 60 percent health twice and its damage is increased by up to 200 percent yang's recurve your weapon multi shot attacks 50 percent faster and its damage is increased by up to 200 percent all right and your last piece here is going to be your amulet i like to go with a hellfire amulet i try to roll one of these passives either awareness Pull of the weak, tactical advantage, ambush, blood vengeance, and you have a little bit of leeway with which ones you want to use. It really depends on how you want to play this build. All right, so for Kiana's cube, you're definitely going to need Dawn. Dawn is very important in this build, as is it is in pretty much every Demon Hunter build. It's going to reduce the cooldown of your vengeance by 65%. So this is effectively going to allow us to have vengeance up. 100% of the time. Now you have a little bit of leeway with what you want to use in your armor slot. If you're using the cold variation, I suggest using Pride Fall. This is going to reduce the cost of your resources by 30% after not taking damage for five seconds. If you're using the fire variant of this build, I highly suggest Cinder Coat. It pretty much does the same thing, but it's up 24 seven no matter what. Uh, if you're playing this build and you feel like you need some more mitigation, definitely suggest using the Visage of Goons. Um, basically, whenever Vengeance is up, it gains the Dark Heart Rune, which decreases the damage you take by 50%. I like to use this Elusive Ring. Effectively, after casting Shadow Power, Smoke Screen, or Vault, you take 60% reduced damage for 8 seconds. If you need to deal a little bit more damage, you can always use Convention of Elements. Now, you can get pretty fancy with this build. If you want to use Pride's Fall and the Cinder Coat, you can use the Royal Ring of Grandeur. Now, I don't really suggest this because although you will pretty much have unlimited resource, 
you have very little mitigation and you will die very fast but if you can stay away from enemies you can jump around you'll deal a ton of damage and you'll never lose any resource for your skills your primary which is also your generator you're going to use evasive fire with the focus rune this is going to change it to cold damage essentially this is going to do a little bit of damage but the main thing we're after is that seven hatred generated and remember with our six piece set it's going to increase our, our generators by two so effectively each time we fire focus we're going to generate nine hatred this is our damage dealer this is what we're going to be casting pretty much the whole build um, multi shot now I have the cold variant with this build um, but you're open to use the fire variation so with the cold variant you fire a massive volley of arrows dealing 360% weapon damage is cold to all enemies in the area enemies hit are chilled and have 8% increased chance to be critically hit for three seconds now this is important because we're gonna be pairing this with coal of the week which increases our damage against slowed or chilled enemies by 20% now our vault if we are using the cold variant i suggest using tumble after using vault your next vault within six seconds has its discipline cost reduced by 50 percent this is going to allow you to go all over the rift using very little discipline keeping that discipline to deal as much damage as possible using the wolf companion essentially gives you a 10 second window to deal 15 percent increased damage now your preparation this is extremely important because not only will this restore your discipline so if you get low it'll help you come back up to that higher discipline level to deal more damage this will permanently increase your maximum discipline by 20. like i said remember with the ue six piece set each piece of discipline that we have we're going to deal 350 percent increased damage now it wouldn't be a demon hunter build if we didn't use vengeance so we're using vengeance seethe this is a 90 second cooldown but like i said with all the cooldown we're stacking and dawn in the cube we're pretty much going to have this up 24 7. the main thing we're needing this for is the increased damage we're gonna have some homing rockets and some side guns that are nice you're also going to gain 10 hatred per second all right your passives so if you want to be using awareness you vanish for two seconds and you regenerate half of your life. It can only happen once every 60 seconds, but it's very useful. Now, I already, said, I already talked about cold of the week. We're going to be using this regardless of the if we're using the fire or the cold variant of this build. Um, and we are trying to get as much speed as we can with this build. So we're going to be using tactical advantage. So when you use vault, shadow power, smoke screen, or you backflip from evasive fire, you gain 60% movement speed for two seconds when we use vault we're going to increase our movement speed by 60 percent for two seconds now, ambush ambush is a really good passive ability to have you deal 40 percent additional damage to enemies above 75 percent health with my hellfire amulet i'm using the blood vengeance your maximum hatred is increased by 25 in addition you gain 30 hatred and three discipline when you're healed by a health globe there are a couple other things you can use with this build if you're using the fire variation sometimes it's nice to use thrill of the hunt if you're running the push variant of this build and you want to use multi-shot with the fire rune i suggest using the ballistics uh, basically it's going to increase the damage of your rockets by 100 percent in addition you have 20 percent chance to fire a homing rockets for 150 percent weapon damage when you attack so now now we're going to get some stat priorities so with your helmet you want dexterity socket crit hit chance vitality and multi-shot damage for your shoulders you're going to want dexterity area damage cooldown reduction and vitality your chest piece you're going to want max discipline this is a secondary role most important one you're going to want dexterity three sockets vitality reduced damage from elites all resistant hatred regeneration for your bracers you're going to want dexterity crit hit chance elemental damage vitality for your gloves you're going to want dexterity crit hit damage crit hit chance area damage and attack speed on your belt you're going to want dexterity if you're using the witching hour you're going to want crit hit damage attack speed other than that you're going to want vitality all res on your legs you're going to need dexterity two sockets vitality all resistance on your feet 
dexterity, multi-shot damage, vitality, all res. For your amulet, you're gonna want critical hit damage, critical hit chance, a socket, your elemental type damage, and then dexterity. On your focus, you're gonna want a socket, critical hit damage, critical hit chance, dexterity, area damage. If you're a strength, you're gonna want a socket, critical hit damage, critical hit chance, dexterity, and area damage. On your bow, you gotta have a socket, but you want that socket to be from a Rimaldi's gift. If you find this weapon and it has a socket in it, you gotta roll that socket off onto something else. High damage range, you're gonna want a percent weapon damage, maximum discipline as a secondary. This is very important, again, and your resource cost reduction. On your quiver, you're gonna want dexterity, critical hit chance, max discipline, again, you're gonna want multi-shot damage and cooldown reduction. You're gonna want to be running all emeralds in your gear except for your helmet you're gonna want a diamond to help reduce the cooldown for your legendary gems you're gonna want bane of the trapped of course always want bane of the trapped increases damage against enemies under the effects of control impairing effects by x amount depending on what the rank of your gym is gain an aura that reduces the movement speed of enemies within 15 yards by 30 percent your zy stone of vengeance Damage you deal is increased by X amount for every 10 yards between you and your enemy hit. Maximum of X increase at 50 yards. 20% chance on hit to stun the enemy for one second. Now for lower greater rifts and for T16, I like to use the Bane of the Powerful. Uh, you gain 20% increased damage for X seconds after killing an elite pack. You also gain 15% increased damage versus elites and take 15% percent reduced damage from elites if you're doing higher grs you might want to use bane of the stricken each attack against an enemy increases the damage they take by x amount if you are using gold wrap you might want to pair that with the boon of the hoarder which basically once you get that to level 50 every enemy will drop gold then you can throw the avarice band in the cube each time you pick up gold you increase your gold and health pickup radius by one yard for 10 seconds stacking up to 30 times all right, like I said, guys, there's a ton of variation with this build. As long as you have the six piece set, the bow and the quiver, you're going to be just fine. I can roll T16 very easily. You can tell I'm right now I'm at 668 Paragon. Also, I really like the fire variant of this build. I just thought I'd try the cold variant and it seems to be working very well. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. And I want to give a special thanks to my Twitch and Patreon supporters. Uh, they help me out a lot. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe to keep up with the content. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like it. If you didn't, please give it a thumbs down. Leave a comment. Come over to Twitch. Ask your questions. We stream quite frequently. Not every day, but most days. Usually be streaming Diablo 3, occasionally a couple of the games. Regardless, come hang out. We'll have a good time. Also, come follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Links are in the description. See you next time. Peace. Mama's best. Oh my God, guys. I had like one second left. Oh. Uh.